I'm so glad to see you coming back from recess. So, let's look over a new rule. It's called the doubling rule. Um, yesterday, keeping this in mind, yesterday we learned about how the vowel in the CBC word is long or short. Does anyone remember? It was short. A vowel in the middle of two consonants is short. So, let's look at the word cup. C U P. Let's write that down. Let's look at it. It's a consonant, vowel, consonant. That means it's CBC. So this vowel in the middle is long or short. Does anyone want to answer that? Yes, short. Short, good. It is short. Let's look at the word bat. And you can write it down if you'd like to. B-A-T. Let's look. The A is the vowel, and it's in the middle of two consonants. So does that make it long or short? Anyone? Sam? Short. Good. Okay. So now that we know that, this will help with today's lesson. Um, and today we are going to learn about, like I said, the doubling rule. And the rule is, if you are adding a suffix to the beginning of a word with a vo the vowel at the end, I think I wrote this wrong, um, of a one-syllable word ending in CBC, you double the final consonant. So you would double the final consonant if you wanted to add a suffix. A suffix is ing, ed, and the ending of a word. That you can add on to make the meaning different. So, um, let's see. The doubling rule, um, like I said, we can, let's look over here, inside of this box. <laughs> um, let's look at the word big. Let's all write it down in our boards. B, I, G. Okay, the vowel is in the middle of two consonants. So, let's think, what ending could I put on to big to make it a different meaning instead of just big? Hmm, E-S-T, big-ist, big-ist. So you have the biggest teddy bear of them all. So we take our rule, B-I-G, G is the last consonant, so we would double the G, and then add E-S-T. This is our suffix. So you want to all write that down for me? Biggest. Good. Okay. Let's do another example. Ha. H-O-P. Hop is a CBC word as well. Does anyone want to tell me a different ending other than E-S-T that we could add to this word? Yes. I-N-G. I-N-G. So what would that make? Hopping. Right, so you would double the P and add I and G. I and G is your suffix, so it makes it hopping. Great. So now that we've done this, I'm going to go over the rule again and then I'm going to erase it and then um, work on some more rules and then you guys can do it on your own. So the doubling rule is if you are adding a suffix, Beginning with a vowel to the end of a one-syllable word ending in CBC, you double the final consonant. So, remember how we had big to biggest, we double the G. Hop to hopping, you double the P and add the suffix. Okay, so... Now, we're going to look over a couple more words. Okay, let's look at the word stop. You can write this down. S-T-O-P. Okay, together, what do we do to the final consonant? Double. Good job. Let's try that all together again. What do we do to the final consonant? Double. Double it. Double it. Right. So S-T-O-P, double the final consonant and add your suffix. So we can do ing. Stop. Okay? Um, now let's think of another word. Does anyone want to tell me another word that they can add a suffix to that's CBC? Ends in CBC? Lance, can you tell me a word? Uh, chop. Chop. Okay. C H O P. Now, Lance, what would we do to the final consonant? Um, double it, double the P. Good. 
and add ing. Good. Chop ing. Good job. All right. Um, Lauren, can you tell me uh, another word? Shop. Shop. Now, what do we do to this final concept? Double it. Double it. And then what? Add ing. ing. We can just keep using ing. That's fine. So this makes the word shop big. You add the final p. Or add the p, add, and then add the suffix, so it makes it shopping. Good. OK, now I want you guys to write down this list of words. you guys. Write down all of these words. Okay. I want you to write down all of those four words. And then look at me once you're done. Okay. So now we are going to add suffixes to this. And I want you guys to do it first, and then I will model it and show you the correct way. So this first word is H-O-T, consonant, vowel, consonant. Let's add the ending E-D, or not, not E-D, E-S-T, OK? So think of our rule. You double the final consonant and then add your suffix. And then look at me once you're done. OK. Now let's look. Okay, so we double the final consonant, which is the T, and then E add E S T. <coughs> Can you all show me, flip it over and show me? Good job. Sam, remember our rule? The T is double before you add the stuff. Just like that. Good. Good job. Okay, now this word, more. Is that CBC? No. No. Okay, so we don't add that. We don't add the suffix and we don't double the final consonant. What about this word, stop, like we did before? Let's write it down on our boards. And then add the um, suffix ed. And remember our rule. And then look at me when you're done. Good. You want to flip it over and show me? Good job. All right. Stop. So we do S T O P P E D. All right. How about this last word? Ma. Remember our rule: you double the final consonant and then add your suffix. Um, let's do I N G. And then show me when you're done. Good job. Good job. Good. Good. All right. So we do M O P. P, I, N, G. All right. So now I'm going to give you a worksheet. And this is kind of the same concept. I'm going to give you some words that are ending in CBC and some words that aren't. And I want you to figure out which ones are and which ones aren't. Add suffixes that you think would work with the word. And then I'm going to ask for some examples. And if it's not ending in CBC, skip it and go to the next word, please. And we're going to stop you there. Okay.